So I'm not sure what the name of this trap is, but it's a pretty cool little body grip trap. Got our little twig hanging down for our tension. Comes down to the first loop, has a toggle on the back with a stick holding it up. This right here would be our bait stick. We have these two twigs bent over. If you come and look through the front, we have a V. This is latched together. There's a loop tied, sorry. This is latched together. There's a loop tied here. The string's tied here. Runs through this loop to the toggle. In the back, there's a toggle. So when something comes in, plays with the bait. Sets the trap off. There you have it. Pinches down on it and breaks its neck. This is good for small game, like rats, squirrels, rabbits, mice. Uh, you also need to put some fencing around the back half of that can here. And maybe some down the corners. Just make sure it goes in where you want it to. Alright, so theory is, this twig here that's smaller than my little finger pulls less than a pound upwards, but with this should make enough to where it would break something's neck. So I'm gonna stick my finger in here to see if it hurts at all. So touching the trigger. Well, it got me. Uh, I don't think a mouse would pull out of this. A squirrel or a rabbit would definitely. Yeah. So it really didn't hurt that bad. I would definitely try to find a lot heavier branch if I was gonna do this for real. But I'd say it definitely catch and kill a mouse if nothing else would be there when you came back. So for micro trapping, this is great. If you want to scale this up, make sure you're using a really heavy branch.